Another bad dream, Fairchild? Sorry, Alexa. But this one was so real. There, there was a fire and machine guns, and it was horrible. You got a problem, sister. You ought to see a shrink. Of 
all the girls in the school, I end up rooming with the psycho. What? Oh my god, it's past six. Why didn't the alarm go off? Because I turned it off. I was out late with, um, Bobby. Yeah, and I didn't get in until three. See, most people like to sleep in sometimes, you know? I'm gonna be late for class! Just keep the noise down, will ya? Child? Yes. Hi, I'm Special Agent Barker with the National Security Committee. I believe that your uncle has told you we've been trying to contact you. Uh, yes, he has. Excellent. We at the NSC are looking to recruit promising young talent for Project Genesis. And you have come to our attention through not only your fine academic record, but also the reputation of your father. My father? Your father was something of a legend with our agency, and in gratitude to heroes such as your father, I've been authorized to offer you, Miss Fairchild, a full scholarship to Project Genesis. This brochure should explain everything clearly. Well, I, I'm in the middle of a semester right now, but thank you. I'll consider it. Um, look, I'm really late for class. If you have any questions, just call the number on the brochure. Yes, I will. Thanks. Gaius, Julius, Caesar, one of the most well-known and indeed most colorful men of the ancient world. Author, historian, priest, politician, and soldier, Caesar was all of these, but it was as the foremost militarist of his day that he rose to prominence. His generalship in Gaul, now modern France, is clear evidence of the genius that led this man to become the first emperor of Rome. Perhaps the most brilliant example is his campaigns against the armies of Vercingetorix. He's culminated in the famous Siege of Alicia in 52 BC. Roman ingenuity prevailed over vastly superior forces secure in their mountain strong. We at the NSC are looking to recruit promising young talent for Project Genesis, and you have come to our attention through not only your fine academic record, but also the reputation of your father. Miss Fairchild! I trust the great Caesar in boring you. Or perhaps it's just me. Oh, no, sir. Not at all. I find it all fascinating. Although, I think that Elysia was taken by the Romans constructing a series of trenches and palisades, not a ramp. Maybe you're confusing the Gaulish Rebellion with that of the Jews in A.D. 74, where Flavius Silva captured the city of Masada by engineering a massive ramp. And, well, it, it's just that I think that Julius Caesar was titled dictator. It was his adopted son, <laughs> Augustus, who became the first emperor of Rome. Good job. <clears throat> I ask, did this miss? Alexa! Alexa, it's me, the door's locked. For Christ's sake! Get rid of her. You keep it down, you're embarrassing me. What are you doing here anyway? Uh, I sleep here, remember? I swear to God, Fairchild, you're the biggest pain. <laughs> oh, Kyle, you are such a total madman. I'll be there in a second. I'll be right with you, baby. Oh, and Caitlin, give me 15 minutes. Okay with you? See, I wouldn't want you to miss your beauty sleep. Hey, Caitlin, you wouldn't happen to have a spare condom, would you? What was I thinking? Forget it. 15 minutes.
welcome to the Phoenix Base, the Fräulein Fairchild. You are the Caitlin Fairchild, yeah? Uh, yes. Of course you are, darling. Come down here, please. I am Helga Kleinmann, your instructor here at Project Genesis. Here, let us have a look at you. <laughs> oh, a bit skinny. But we fixed that. Come, first we go to the doctor for the physical. Then we get some food into you. What's the matter, Liebchen? Oh, nothing. Just that I, I wasn't expecting um, something so military. Oh, the NSC is an agency dedicated to doing great work for humanity. So we must be military, of course. Wow, I've never seen anything like that before. Well, here we have the absolute latest in all technology. That HAV craft here is just one of the wonders you see during your stay here. You are very privileged, young lady, to have been accepted to do this special training. Only the best of the best come here. I'm out of here, man! Get back here, Tang! It's just a shot for... Christ's sake! No way, dude! No needles for me! Oh, truly sorry about that. It's okay, just get off me. Oh, oh, oh yeah, sure. You, Mr. Chang, are a disgrace and a big Baby, Oof. Now, hold still! <laughs> Lucky for you, I am also a registered nurse. Don't mind Grunge, honey. He's just got a problem taking his vitamins. So I noticed. I'm Roxy, Caitlin Fairchild. Well, welcome to the club, Caitlin Fairchild. Just arrived, huh? <laughs> How can you tell? Don't, don't worry. This place is way cool once you get used to all the rules. You! Why are you not in your classroom? <laughs> and that, that thing in your mouth, here there is no smoking. I was uh, just taking a break, ma'am. A break? I'll be giving you a break. Ah! You go back to your classroom and walk. Yes, ma'am. And don't you leave the... Yes, I, I, I mean, no, ma'am. No smoking. This is the great master they send to instruct me. Is the lesson over so soon? Or does the master have anything more to teach me? I'll teach you humility, Gai Jin. So, the younger master can still be taught a few tricks! <laughs> session, Matthew, but... Oh, Matthew, not again. What? Oh, him. <laughs> Saburo sensei had a little training accident. God damn it, Matthew. You can't keep maiming every instructor I send you. You'll just have to find me more challenging opponents. Oh, you're impossible. 
Okay, I didn't call to talk about your training habits. I wanted you to take a look at one of the new recruits. Her name's Caitlin Fairchild, 18 years old. High IQ. She has a great gen factor potential. She doesn't look like much to me. I agree, but this one was scouted by one of our operatives. I've read her files, and I believe that she's the progeny of one of the rogue Gen 12s, a member of Team 7. I think you'll agree that this one deserves special attention. I'll keep an eye on her. Thank you, ma'am. Off your ass, Miss Fairchild. The world doesn't give you any breaks or second chances. If this fight was real, you'd be dead. Again! I got kind of mad. <laughs> oh, that's for sure. How's your head? Oh, fine. The headache went away pretty fast. What are you doing? Uh, duh. I'm having a smoke. It's the only place I didn't stick a smoke detector. Oh. Um, Rox, can I ask you something? Sure. Shoot. What do you think of Matthew? Oh, you mean Intilla the Hun out there? Yeah. I keep getting these strange vibes from him. Like he's watching me or something. Well, Cat, it's not hard to figure out. He wants you. I mean, we're not a bunch of virgins locked in a convent here. 
It's not that. I never, I, I just never met the right guy. Oh, sure, well. Uh, Matthew's kind of cute if you dig eye patch. Oh, no, it's nothing like that. He just, he stares so intensely. It's like he's waiting for something to happen. It, it gives me the creeps. Maybe you're his model student, his protege, or something like that. Hmm, maybe. Roxy, why are you here? What made you want to join this program? <laughs> my mom. She thought my boyfriend was a bad influence on me, so I... Hmm, you know. yeah. I was hoping to feel closer to my dad here. He was in the military, and he went missing, presumed dead, when I was a baby. I just wanted to make him proud, sort of follow in his footsteps. Hmm, heavy. That's nice. I don't even know who my dad is. Wasn't he military? Hmm. They told me the program was for children of military vets. Yeah, you must have heard wrong. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm just being paranoid, aren't I? That's right. That headache's pickled your brain, girl. Spalding, Roxanne, locked and in place. All the little lieblings are tucked into the incubation tubes like larvae in cocoons, waiting to metamorphose into magnificent butterflies, butterflies of our own creation. <laughs> Prep complete. Begin sequence. Ivana, command center is reporting a mayday. Uh, military aircraft seeking emergency landing. Request denied. Uh, he's not requesting. It's a Harrier with I.O. clearance. Shit. Lynch! I'll deal with this. Continue the experiment, Matthew. Always glad to be helpful. How thoughtful of Ivana. <laughs> I might have gotten lost. Here. Ah, 
Hello, Jack. Welcome to the Phoenix base. It's cozy. We call it home. I am told that your jet will be ready to depart at 0830 tomorrow. Doesn't sound to me like there was much of a problem. Really, Jack, the Mayday was a bit much. You never can tell. These planes are so temperamental. And we are out here in the middle of nowhere. Actually, I've been hearing some curious rumors. Something about Project Genesis. Gen 13? What's the matter? Does it get your goat that Io would choose me, a woman, over you to head Gen 13? In spite of your being a Gen 12? Whatever internal operations motives are, I think it's a foolish project to resurrect. The consequences of the experimentation... Oh, don't be so dramatic. With that attitude, it's no surprise Craven wanted you kept in the dark. These are human lives. Young human lives you are playing with. Jack, there is no experimentation going on. It's purely observation. It had better be. Because you have no idea how dangerous the gen factor is. Please give me some credit. We are fully prepared should an emergency arise, Jack. Yeah. Well, I have some first-hand experience with just such emergencies. And I say you haven't a clue about what could happen here. Breakfast is served at 0700 hours. I'll see you there. Enjoy your stay. It's an honor to meet you, sir. An original member of Gen 12. A dubious distinction, I'm sure. After all, there aren't too many of us left. I followed your career, and I have nothing but the greatest respect for you, Colonel Lynch. Oh, Matthew, Matthew. I was hoping you weren't mixed up in this. What? I'm familiar with your career as well. And I would have thought you, of all people, would be opposed to this kind of government experimentation. With all due respect, sir, I don't think you understand what it is we're trying to accomplish here. Then I would be happy for you to enlighten me. I'm sorry, but the exact nature of this program is classified. Of course it is. I'm cleared at I.O. on a level four. Well, that would make you one level shy. I'm afraid our conversation is over, Colonel Lynch. It ain't over by a long shot, boy. Must be a flu bug. There. Caitlin Fairchild? My name is John Lynch. I knew your father, Caitlin. My father? How? We served together. He was a brave man. I understand you are quite the scholar. Your father would have been proud to see you following in his footsteps. It's not easy to get into a program like this one. Only a lucky few make it. Are they treating you well? Oh, yes, I'm fine. The classes are a piece of cake, and I'm getting the hang of martial arts. I'll say... Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. These are my friends, Grunge and Roxy. You gonna eat that, Fairchild? 
pleased to meet you. You got a smoke on you? I'm out. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't. They kill you, you know. Yeah, yeah, I heard it all before. Okie dokie, my little Lieblings, let's go. Breakfast is over. And Miss Spalding, I don't want to catch you smoking again. Those things are terrible. Well, it was really nice to meet you, Mr. Lynch. If you need anything at all, Caitlin, please contact me. Miss Fairchild, tardiness is not tolerated here. He is a threat to the entire program. Look, I doubt he'll be able to give us much trouble. What do you know? He suspects that I'm developing SPBs. Lynch is a very sharp man. If he can get evidence, then he can shut me down. You worry too much. Once the students become gen active, no one will be able to stop us. Not Lynch, not the government. Yeah, when? Not one has manifested yet. Soon, I think. Very soon. Worse this time. Ah! 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 Oh, oh God, I'm really sick. Hello? Hello, I need the infirmary? Someone help me. Ugh. Oh, God, this place is such a maze. I'll never find. Oh, oh what's wrong with me? Definitely not the infirmary. What's this? Fairchild? Dad? Fairchild, Alexander, Captain U.S. Army, Bronze Star, Medal of Honor, Vietnam, August 1965. Stephen Callahan? Matthew's father? Oh my God, what did they do to you? Let's see what else is in here. Hey, Caitlin. Ah! Whoa, chill out, girl. It's just us. Geez, sorry, Caitlin. I didn't mean to spook you. I... Why don't you just wake up the whole complex? I said I was sorry. What are you guys doing here? Oh, we usually come down to this side after curfew so Grunge can scarf the food he swiped from the kitchen. And... <clears throat> Four chili dogs. <laughs> and I can grab a smoke. How'd you get in here anyway? The store's always locked. Well, it was open. Cool, no surveillance cameras. It's hard to find a good blind spot in the hallway. Hey! I wonder if they've got a camera on Helga's crapper. <laughs> if they do, it'd have to have one hell of a wide-angle lens. Surveillance cameras? That's right. Someone must have seen me. All of you, freeze! <gasps> this area is restricted. Back away from the computer. Are you freaking deaf? Move! The kids want to get hurt. Just try giving me trouble. Control, this is Gates 
down in Comcore 1. I have three intruders. Looks like students attempting to access the computers. Now, wait a second. Back off! It's not what it looks like. The door is open, and... Shut up, kid. You're in a heap of trouble in here. No, no, really. I was sick. I was looking for the infirmary, and... <laughs> You hurt him, you creep! You freaking stormtrooper creep! Don't hurt my friends. I was just looking for the infirmary. And now, the pain is back. I don't think you get it. In here, you're on my feet. So if you want to get hurt... You're not going to hurt anybody. She looks all right to me. Keep your thinking above your waist, Buster. Give her your shirt. Without looking. Okay, Grunge, you can look now. It's a little tight, but it'll do. Stay where you are. Bravo. We have arrived at Comcore 1 and have the intruders in custody. Hey, where's Gates? He took a flying leap through the window. Hit it with the tangler. Hey! Ow! I didn't do anything! Christ, she's still standing! Take her out, damn it! Big one, ain't she? Keep your hands off her, dickwad! You got a big mouth, sweetheart. And that mouth just bought you some real trouble. Who do you think I am, some kind of friggin' cop? I just kept you and nobody even bat an eye. What the... Jesus! She's loose! What the hell? the obvious, but we gotta get out of here, guys. Come on, Caitlin! Keeper Team Bravo, report. Keeper Team Bravo, report. Somebody talk to me, damn it. Keeper Team Bravo, come in. Ivana, it's Matthew. On down there? Well, Comcore One is a mess. The incubation chamber's been breached, and you've got seven personnel down. At least one's dead. I think one of the test subjects has gone gen active. Do tell. The Fairchild file has been accessed. <laughs> the girl. Looks that way. I want her, Matthew. I want her captured and alive. I'll get right on it. Rainmaker in Section D. The door to my room isn't working. That's the last of them. All subjects are now rendered unconscious. Vital signs are stable, though subject Rainmaker's heart is still racing. Initiating evacuation of nerve gas now. Student quarters will be ready for incubation retrieval in five minutes. Mobilization status. Entire complex is now on red alert. All security units have been mobilized in base-wide search. Good. I want the girl captured. Intact. Status alert. Red priority.
Place looks clear, Sarge. Thermal scan indicated warm bodies in here. I want every one of these lockers searched. They're searching the lockers. Do you think they'll be able to see us? I don't know, but I sure hope they don't look up. for a long time. I feel... fine. Actually, I feel great. It's almost as if I can feel myself growing stronger by the second. Growing is right. Uh, we're gonna have to get you a new wardrobe. I don't know. I think it's a good look for you, Caitlin. Okay. Don't get your panties in a bunch. I'll just go and find something that'll fit her. So, Cat, really, are you okay? I don't know. I, I mean, I've never had to hurt anyone before. Oh, Roxy, those guys, I think they were dead. What's happening? What are they doing to all of us here? Ah, oh, easy, hon. It wasn't like they gave you a choice. Hmm. Nah, too small. God, Roxy, what are we going to do? I don't know. But don't worry, between the three of us, we'll work it out. Hey, guys, check it out. They look about the right size. They do? I personally had no idea that the officer's corps was hiding such talent. Hey, this is Helga's locker. Uh, oh, uh, I... <laughs> hey, Kat, try this on for size. Hmm, it's sort of like our training suits. It looks like this one's made out of Kevlar, but it stretches like a bathing suit. Over here. This is Search Team Bravo. We're in Sector G, and the ventilation shaft here has been breached. Come on, friends. Oh, come on. Okay, Grunge, all zipped up. You can look now. Yow! Looking good, Cat. Thanks. I guess it'll do. Yep, that's them all right. What are you gonna do? What else? We're gonna frag their ass. You look like one of those wahines from the comics. Holy shit! What's the freaking grenade? Go! Oh. Just find the body so we can get this over with. Pity. I got two of them over here, alive. Alive? Yes, sir. Just stunned. Must have been that bank of lockers that shielded them from the blast. Hmm. They'll come around in an hour or so. Notify Ivana and have them brought to my interrogation chamber. Oh, wait! Would you look at that? <laughs> so. Big got blown clean through that wall. There's no sign of the other girl. No blood. No nothing. Uh, what do you want us to do now, sir? First, I suggest you find out where the shaft leads to.
The grenade? It blew up and I'm still alive. I'm not even scratched. Wow. Blue one to blue leader. Any sign of the target? No. And cut the blue leader crap. This ain't freaking Star Wars and you ain't freaking Luke Skywalker. Looks like we have a confirmed the target is gen active, so keep on your toes. Roger that, Blue Leader. I got nothing on visual, just tons of garbage. Switch to infrared on your heads up display. Roger, Blue Leader. Hey, I got a lock! <gasps> Get after her, don't fly your wing. Roger that! Cannot tell you, Liebchen. I can only say that too much brute has been spilled. All brute must be answered and make it brute. You are my favorite, Liebchen. I'm sorry. Thing. 
You and your boyfriend are being very stupid. One of you is going to talk. So that means that one of you will be tortured for nothing. Talk! Leave off her, you old bitch! <laughs> old? Old? Your government plants. I've known it from the beginning. Lynch sent you to watch me. That old dude in the cafeteria? Don't play dumb! No, oh, he isn't playing. Grunge really is dumb. Don't talk back! It's really so very insane, and children. I'm sure it's for you. Ivana here. Ivana, an unidentified formation just ghosted on radar about 80 kilometers north-northwest. It could be aircraft flying in low through the canyons. Go to red alert and scramble the interceptors. I'll join you in a few minutes. Shit! It has to be Lynch. Matthew, I'll be in the control center. Please continue questioning our little friends. Yes, Ivana. I would be most glad to continue. You do? Yes, I do. I have read your rather vacant minds and know that you're telling the truth. But you see, I have reason to make you go gen active. Uh, manifest your powers. You mean like Caitlin? Precisely. Huh. You're not as dumb as she makes you out to be. I orchestrated everything to facilitate young Fairchild's becoming gen active. Yeah, like you orchestrated her getting away. <laughs> An oversight. So I am going to continue torturing you, partly because it will help you manifest or it will kill you. <laughs> and partly because I like it.
I'm on mark for pad of fire. Target bearing 2.2 degrees. Press cannon 4 degrees. Hold it. Target is moving. She's... She's charging! Fire! We've lost visual with the flight deck map. Reports are coming in of multiple explosions, heavy damage, and casualties. Guard Post 6 reports encounter with escaped subject exhibiting full gen active capabilities. Why is this so... Damn! Difficult! Assemble a full keeper unit armed for SPB engagement. Have them meet me topside in five minutes. Yes, ma'am. Status on the invading aircraft. The intruders are still closing at 45 kilometers. We have IO fighters airborne on interception course. Hold it. Ma'am, I'm receiving a transmission from the intruder demanding clearance to land. They say they have IO clearance and a warrant to search the Phoenix base. What should I tell them, ma'am? Nothing. Just shoot them down. There's still no reply from Phoenix Base, sir, on any channels. Looks like they've been busy. I've got eight. Oh, make that ten bogeys coming at us on a direct interception course. Altitude 10,000. All right, go to condition red. It's now or never. Gain altitude and engage hostile aircraft. The rest of the squadron will form up on our wing. We're going in, gentlemen. Roger. Hang in there, kids. Help's coming. Stop it! Stop it! Stop hurting him! You don't stop, I'll kill you myself! Oh, he was getting boring anyway. Now let's see what we can do with you. Yes. My powers first began to manifest when I was very young. I've had practice. Have you? Call me Threshold. That's my code name. I prefer it, really. Threshold? Why are you doing this? I told you to make you manifest. Threshold, there's got to be... Another way? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. You stinking plus one! Manifest that, ass white! Hey, I did manifest! Friggin' A, he rocks! Check it out. Roxy? Roxy? Come on, Rox. Get with it. Roxy? <gasps> Grunge. Yeah, it's me. I kind of went superhero and took the creep out. You came to my rescue? Like you're my dude in shining armor? My services are needed. Runs? Cool, huh? 
made of molecularized razor wire. I don't get to use them very often. They can cut through steel like it was paper. I'm curious to see what they can do to my prize student. <laughs> whole life. Oh, uh, me too. I think pilots are cool. That had better be a roll of quarters in your pocket, bro. 
Orange. I... It's not really safe with so many... And you should have parachutes. What if... Just fly. This is awesome! I love flying! Caitlin, could you move your left butt cheek over a little? No offense, but you weigh a ton. Well, guys, where to? We made it! We're free! How about Hawaii? I want to become one with the waves! <laughs> I don't think we have enough gas for Hawaii! Whoa! Ah! I do not believe this! <laughs> Don't look at me. Well, it's not me. You just can't leave us alone. I mean, man, I just want to get the hell away from here. Just let us go home, but no! He's 5,000 feet up, hanging there in the sky, waiting for us. Come on, will someone please give me a break? Hey, quit the yammer and take a look around. What? Hey, I'm doing that. You gotta work on your landings. That's all I can do. Fine. Ma'am, the last of the students are cryogenically stored and being loaded on the transport. Good. You've got the detonator? Yes, ma'am, right here. Excellent. Yeah, but what about evacuation? Our people... I didn't ask for a debate, soldier. Ma'am, respectfully, I must decline to follow that order. <sighs> Want anything done right? <laughs> All right, get everyone on board. We're leaving here immediately. What are you doing, Roxy? Ah, oh, jeez, rats! I didn't get the killer body like you, Kate. Uh-oh. Looks like we've got company. I am pleased with you all. What? We are the children of the future. Man's evolutionary step toward godhood. I think he's one taco short of a combination plate. Yeah, man. I'm hungry, too. Oh, come on, Grinch. I don't think we want to be part of any future that includes you. Oh? Why not? For one thing, you enjoy killing too much. What? Are you referring to that pilot? <laughs> he was as worthy of contempt as the ants beneath our feet. You're sick, Matthew. <laughs> oh, I did have a rather dysfunctional upbringing. You see, my parents were killed when I was very young. I was captured and raised by their murderers. We are the offspring of government meddling. Our parents were all Gen 12s, a military biological experiment to create a special fighting force. When they refused to fight, they were hunted down and killed. Now is our chance to destroy that government, that corrupt, diseased government that destroyed our parents, and create our own. Oh, uh, no offense, Threshold, but you're friggin' nuts, dude. <laughs> 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 if you won't join me, then I promise you death. Whoa! Don't have much of a sense of humor, do you, pal? You can't just push us around, Threshold. Yeah, we got a few tricks of our own now. Oh, I am so scared. Fight him, Lux. Oh! Fight him! Get out of my head! How'd you do that, girl? 
I don't know, but I'm not asking questions. You're going to have to be a little faster than that, honey. Ah, <laughs> oh, Miss Spaulding, where did we leave off upstairs? Very impressive, Roxanne. Given a little practice, you might prove a worthy adversary. Too bad you'll never get that chance. Just search the student dormitories. They report that all the students are missing, and there is evidence of a rapid evacuation. Then we're too late. Damn her. If I know Ivana and she's managed to escape with those kids, this place is gonna get a lot less healthy. Recall all units. We're pulling out. right now, you know that? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't. You kids should not be fighting each other. Try telling that to our pal over here. Vengeance is a powerful force, Lynch. I can feel it in me, strengthening me. And you will all feel it too. Pretty big talk for someone who just got his butt kicked. They're not your enemy, Threshold. Ivana and Craven are the ones who created Gen 12 and Gen 13. Not you, Lynch. Not one of the government stooges responsible for hunting down my parents like animals. Your parents were friends whose lives I couldn't save. I'll make you eat those lies. After I finish with these three, you're making a mistake, Matthew. 
This is the last person that you want to harm. Caitlin is your sister. What? I knew your parents well and was their friend. Caitlin, your mother, Rachel, came to me for help after your father was killed because the NSC wanted her two children. I couldn't help your mother. So she turned to her ex-husband, Callahan, Matthew's father. Callahan did the honorable thing and tried to get all of you out of the country, but he didn't make it. He and your mother were killed. Matthew, you ran. Ran for your life with your baby sister in your arms. And when they fished you out of the water, your sister was gone. You thought she was dead. I found her downriver. I was too late to save you and your mother, Matthew. But I could still help Caitlin. I hid her away. And when it was safe, when the program was no longer popular, I returned Caitlin to her uncle. The dream. I've been having your dream. sign of life down there. All right, Captain. Let's head for home. Hey, Mr. Lynch, dude. You got any more of these survival kits? Have a little sensitivity, Grunge, huh? Sorry. I'm sorry, Caitlin. I don't think anyone survived. I know. Thank you. What's going to happen to us, Mr. Lynch? Can we resign? Can't we just drop out? Oh, Caitlin, if you only knew. The I.O. doesn't accept resignations. Your father learned that the hard way. However, I have a proposal to make. You kids are special now. You have powers you've barely begun to understand. You have the potential to use those powers to make positive changes in our very imperfect world. I'd like to show you how to harness those powers. I'd like us to work together. Uh, no offense, but I just want to go home. And I'm desperate for a cigarette. All right, I accept. What can I say? Sounds cool. I kind of like the superhero stuff. What the hell? All right, we'll be just like, like the super friends. Well, good. It's settled then. I think you've made the right choice. Thanks for all you've done. I owe you my life. It's the least I could do for my old friend's daughter. Mr. Lynch, will you tell me about my father and my brother?
feel there's something wrong My head explodes in crimson red I lose control You'll never take my 